Makassar, Baganese Makassar language, is sometimes spelled Makassar, is the provincial capital of South Sulawesi, Indonesia. It is the largest city on the island of Sulawesi in terms of population, and the fifth largest city in Indonesia after Jakarta, Surabaya, Bandung, and Maidan. From 1971 to 1999, the city was named Yujing Pandong, after a pre-colonial fort in the city, and the two names are often used interchangeably. The city is located on the southwest coast of the island of Sulawesi, facing the Makassar Strait. The city's area is 199.3 square kilometers, 77.0 square miles, and it had a population of around 1.6 million in 2013. Its built-up or metro area has 1,976,168 inhabitants covering Makassar City and 15 districts. Its official metropolitan area, known as Maminasada, with 17 additional districts, covers an area of 2,548 square kilometers, 984 square miles, and had a population of around 2.4 million according to 2010 census. History the trade in spices figured prominently in the history of Sulawesi, which involved frequent struggles between rival native and foreign powers for control of the lucrative trade during the pre-colonial and colonial period, when spices from the region were in high demand in the West. Much of South Sulawesi's early history was written in old texts that can be traced back to the 13th and 14th centuries. Makassar is mentioned in the Nagarakretagama, a Javanese eulogy composed in 14th century during the reign of Majapahit King Hayam Wurik. In the text, Makassar is mentioned as an island under Majapahit dominance, alongside Bhutan, Salaya and Bangawi. Makassarese Kingdom the ninth king of Gawa Tumaparisi Kalona (1512–1546) is described in the Royal Chronicle as the first Gawa ruler to ally with the nearby trade-oriented polity of Talo, a partnership which endured throughout Makassar's apogee as an independent kingdom. The center of the dual kingdom was at Sambaupu, near the then mouth of the Genevarang River about 10 kilometers south of the present city center, where, where an international port and a fortress were gradually developed. First Malay traders expelled from their Malacca metropolis by the Portuguese in 1511, then Portuguese from at least the 1540s, began to make this port their base for trading to the Spice Islands. Maluku, further east, the growth of Dutch maritime power over the spice trade after 1600 made Makassar more vital as an alternative port open to all traders, as well as a source of rice to trade with rice-deficient Maluku. The Dutch East India Company VOC, sought a monopoly of Moluccan nutmeg and cloves, and came close to succeeding at the expense of English, Portuguese and Muslims from the 1620s. The Makassar kings maintained a policy of free trade, insisting on the right of any visitor to do business in the city, and rejecting the attempts of the Dutch to establish a monopoly. Makassar depended particularly on the Muslim Malay and Catholic Portuguese Portuguese sailors' communities as its two crucial economic assets. However, the English East India Company also established a post there in 1613, the Danish Company arrived in 1618, and Chinese, Spanish, and Indian traders were all important. When the Dutch conquered Portuguese Malacca in 1641, Makassar became the largest Portuguese base in Southeast Asia. The Portuguese population had been in the hundreds, but rose to several thousand, served by churches of the Franciscans, Dominicans, and Jesuits as well as the regular clergy. By the 16th century, Makassar had become Sulawesi's major port and center of the powerful Gawa and Talo Sultanates which between them had a series of 11 fortresses and strongholds and a fortified sea wall that extended along the coast. Portuguese rulers called the city Makakar. Makassar was very ably led in the first half of the 17th century, when it effectively resisted Dutch pressure to close down its trade to Maluku, and made allies rather than enemies of the neighboring Bugis states. Karang Matoaya C. was ruler of Talo from 1593, as well as Chancellor or Chief Minister Tuma Baikara Buddha of the partner Kingdom of Gawa. He managed the succession to the Gawa throne in 1593 of the seven-year-old boy later known as Sultan Alad-Din, and guided him through the acceptance of Islam in 1603, numerous modernizations in military and civil governance, and cordial relations with the foreign traders. 
John Jourdain called Makassar in his day, the kindest people in all the Indias to strangers. Matawaya's eldest son succeeded him on the throne of Talo, but as chancellor he had evidently groomed his brilliant second son, Karang Patangaloang who exercised that position from 1639 until his death. Patangaloang must have been partly educated by Portuguese, since as an adult he spoke Portuguese as fluently as people from Lisbon itself, and avidly read all the books that came his way in Portuguese, Spanish or Latin. French Jesuit Alexander de Rhodes described his passion for mathematics and astronomy, on which he pestered the priest endlessly, while even one of his Dutch adversaries conceded he was a man of great knowledge, science and understanding. Dutch colonial period after Patangaloang's death in 1654, a new king of Gawa, Sultan Hassanuddin, rejected the alliance with Talo by declaring he would be his own chancellor. Conflicts within the kingdom quickly escalated, the Bugis rebelled under the leadership of Bone, and the Dutch VOC seized its long-awaited chance to conquer Makassar with the help of the Bugis their first bite of the cherry in 1667 was the northern Makassar fort of Eugene Pondong, while in 1669 they conquered and destroyed Sambaupu in one of the greatest battles of 17th century Indonesia. The VOC moved the city center northward, around the Eugene Pondong fort they rebuilt and renamed Fort Rotterdam. From this base they managed to destroy the strongholds of the Sultan of Gawa who was then forced to live on the outskirts of Makassar. Following the Java War 1825 Prince de Ponegoro was exiled to Fort Rotterdam until his death in 1855. After the arrival of the Dutch, there was an important Portuguese community, also called a Bandal, that received the name of Borobos. Around 1660 the leader of this community, which today would be equivalent to a neighborhood, was the Portuguese Francisco Vieira de Figueiredo. The character of this old trading center changed as a walled city known as Vlardingen grew. Gradually, in defiance of the Dutch, the Arabs, Malays and Buddhists returned to trade outside the fortress walls, and were joined later by the Chinese. The town again became a collecting point for the produce of eastern Indonesia, the copra, rattan, pearls, trepang and sandalwood and the famous oil made from bado nuts used in Europe as men's hair dressing, hence the anti-macassars, embroidered cloths protecting the head rests of upholstered chairs. Although the Dutch controlled the coast, it was not until the early 20th century that they gained power over the southern interior through a series of treaties with local rulers. Meanwhile, Dutch missionaries converted many of the Toraja people to Christianity. By 1938, the population of Makassar had reached around 84,000 a town described by writer Joseph Conrad as the prettiest and perhaps cleanest looking of all the towns in the islands. In World War II the Makassar area was defended by approximately 1,000 men of the Royal Netherlands East Indies Army commanded by Colonel M. Boren. He decided that he could not defend the coast, and was planning to fight a guerrilla war inland. The Japanese landed near Makassar on 9 February 1942. The defenders retreated but were soon overtaken and captured. After Independence in 1945 came the Indonesian Declaration of Independence, and in 1946, Makassar became the capital of the state of East Indonesia, part of the United States of Indonesia. In 1950, it was the site of fighting between pro-federalist forces under Captain Abdul Assize and Republican forces under Colonel Sunkono during the Makassar Uprising. By the 1950s, the population had increased to such a degree that many of the historic sites gave way to modern development, and today one needs to look very carefully to find the few remains of the city's once grand history. Connection with Australia Makassar is also a major fishing centre in Sulawesi. One of its major industries is the trepang sea cucumber, industry. Trepang fishing brought the Makassan people into contact with indigenous Australian peoples of Northern Australia, long before European settlement, from 1788. C. C. McKnight in his 1976 work entitled Voyage to Marige, Makassan Trepangers in Northern Australia has shown that they began frequenting the north of Australia around 1700 in search of trepang, sea slug, sea cucumber, beach demur, and edible holothurian. 
They left their waters during the northwest monsoon in December or January for what is now Arnhem Land, Marriage or Marega and the Kimberley region or Kayu Jawa. They returned home with the southeast trade winds in April. A fleet of between 24 and 26 Macassan Prahus was seen in 1803 by French explorers under Nicolas Baden on the Holothoria banks in the Timor Sea. In February 1803, Matthew Flinders in The Investigator met six Prahus with 20 to 25 men each on board and was told by the fleet's chief Pobasso that there were 60 Prahus then on the North Australian coast. They were fishing for trepang and appeared to have only a small compass as a navigation aid. In June 1818 Macassan trepang fishing was noted by Philip Parker King in the vicinity of Port Essington in the Arafora Sea. In 1865 R.J. Shaw, then government resident for the British settlement at Camden Sound, near Augustus Island in the Kimberley region, observed seven. Macassan. Prahus with a total of around 300 men on board. He believed that they made kidnapping raids and ranged as far south as Roebuck Bay, later Broome, where quite a fleet was seen around 1866. Shaw believed that they did not venture south into other areas such as Nickel Bay, where the European pearling industry commenced around 1865, due to the absence of trepang in those waters. The Macassan voyages appear to have ceased sometime in the late 19th century, and their place was taken by other sailors operating from elsewhere in the Indonesian archipelago. Economy The city is southern Sulawesi's primary port, with regular domestic and international shipping connections. It is nationally famous as an important port of call for the Pinisi boats, sailing ships which are among the last in use for regular long-distance trade. During the colonial era, the city was widely known as the namesake of Makassar oil, which it exported in great quantity. Makassar ebony is a warm black hue, streaked with tan or brown tones, and highly prized for use in making fine cabinetry and veneers. Nowadays, as the largest city in Sulawesi Island and eastern Indonesia, the city's economy depends highly on the service sector, which makes up approximately 70% of activity. Restaurant and hotel services are the largest contributor, 29.14%, followed by transportation and communication, 14.86%, trading, 14.86%, and finance, 10.58%. Industrial activity is next most important after the service sector, with 21.34% of overall activity. Transportation Makassar has a public transportation system called Peat Peat. A Peat Peat known elsewhere in Indonesia as an Angkot is a minibus that has been modified to carry passengers. The route of Makassar's Peat Peats is denoted by the letter on the windshield. Makassar is also known for its Besik pedicabs, which are smaller than the Besik in the island of Java. In Makassar, people who drive pedicabs are called Dang. In addition to Besik and Peat Peat, the city has a government-run bus system, and taxis. A bus rapid transit, BRT, which is known as Trans Maminasada, was started in 2014. It has some routes through Makassar to cities around Makassar region such as Maros, Takalar, and Gawa. Run by Indonesian Transportation Department, each bus has 20 seats and space for 20 standing passengers. A 35-kilometer monorail in the areas of Makassar, Maros Regency, Sungamanasa, Gawa Regency, and Takalar Regency, the Maminasada region, was proposed in 2011, with operations commencing in 2014, at a predicted cost of Rp.4 trillion $468 million. The Memorandum of Understanding was signed on 25 July 2011 by Makassar City, Maros Regency and Gawa Regency. In 2014, the project was officially abandoned, citing insufficient ridership and a lack of financial feasibility. The city of Makassar, its outlying districts, and the South Sulawesi province are served by Hassanuddin International Airport. The airport is located outside the Makassar City Administration Area, being situated in the nearby Maros Regency. The city is served by Sokarno Hata Seaport. In January 2012 it was announced that due to limited capacity of the current dock at Sokarno Hata Seaport, it will be expanded to 150 by 30 square meters to avoid the need for at least two ships to queue every day. 
Administration and Governance The executive head of the city is the mayor, who is elected by direct vote for a period of five years. The mayor is assisted by a deputy mayor, who is also an elected person. There is a legislative assembly for the city, members of which are also elected for a period of five years. Makassar City is divided into 15 administrative districts and 153 urban villages. Districts in Makassar City are Barinkanaya, Bontoala, Sangkaring Islands, Makassar, Mamajang, Mangala, Mariso, Panakakang, Rapacini, Talo, Tamilanraya, Tamilate, Yujing Pondong, Land Edge and Waho. Geography This official metropolitan area covers 2,473 square kilometers and had a population of 2,225,048 at the 2010 census. The metropolitan area of Makassar Maminasada, extends over 46 administrative districts Kekamitan, consisting of all 14 districts within the city, all 9 districts of Takalar Regency, 11 out of 18 districts of Gao Regency and 12 out of 14 districts of Maros Regency. Districts of Takalar Regency which included in the metro area are, Mangara Bombong, Mapakasungu, Sanrabon, Palambongkang Selatan, Patalasang, Palambongkang Utara, Gailsong Selatan, Gailsong and Gailsong Utara. Districts of Gawa Regency which included in the metro area are, Samba Opu, Bontamaranu, Palanga, Baheng, Baheng Barat, Barambong, Manuju, Patalasang, Paranglo, Bontanampo and Bontanampo Selatan. Districts of Maros Regency which included in the metro area are, Maros Baru, Turakale, Marusu, Mandai, Monkinglo, Bontoa, Lao, Tanralili, Tampo Bulu, Bantimoring, Simbang and Senrana. Climate Makassar has a tropical monsoon climate, Kopanam. The average temperature for the year in Makassar is 27.5 degrees Celsius or 81.5 degrees Fahrenheit, with little variation due to its near equatorial latitude. The average high is around 32.5 degrees Celsius or 90.5 degrees Fahrenheit and the average low around 22.5 degrees Celsius or 72.5 degrees Fahrenheit all year long. In contrast to the virtually consistent temperature, rainfall shows wide variation between months in Makassar due to movement of the intertropical convergence zone. Makassar averages around 3,137 mm or 123.50 inches of rain on 187 days during the year, but during the month with least rainfall, August, only 15 mm or 0.59 inches on two days of rain can be expected. In contrast, during its very wet wet season, Makassar can expect over 530 mm or 21 inches per month between December and February. During the wettest month of January, 734 mm or 28.90 inches can be expected to fall on 27 rainy days. Main Sites Makassar is home to several prominent landmarks including the 17th century Dutch fort Fort Rotterdam The Trans Studio Makassar The third largest indoor theme park in the world The Karebozi Link The first underground shopping center in Indonesia The Floating Mosque located at Losari Beach The Nusantara the Bantimoring, Bulusarong National Park well-known karst area, famous for the remarkable collection of butterflies in the local area, is nearby to Makassar, around 40 kilometers to the north. Demographics Makassar is a multi-ethnic city, populated mostly by Makassarese and Baganese. The remainder come from Toraja, Mandar, Bhutan, China, Java, and other areas. The current population is approximately 1.5 million, with a metropolitan total of 2.2 million. The city is divided into 14 districts Kekamitan, tabulated below with their 2010 census population. Education State University of Makassar Hassanuddin University Aladdin Islamic State University 
Universitas Mohamedia Makasarbi 2007 The city government began requiring all skirts of schoolgirls be below the knee. Traditional food Makassar has several famous traditional foods. The most famous is Koto Makassar. It is a stew made from the mixture of nuts, spices, and selected offal which may include beef brain, tongue and intestine. Conro rib dish is also a popular traditional food in Makassar. Both Koto Makassar and Conro are usually eaten with barasa or katupat, a glutinous rice cake. Another famous cuisine from Makassar is ayam goreng Sulawesi, celibes fried chicken. The chicken is marinated with a traditional soy sauce recipe for up to 24 hours before being fried to a golden color. The dish is usually served with chicken broth, rice and special sambal, chili sauce. In addition, Makassar is the home of Pisang Epe, pressed banana, as well as Pisang Ijo, green banana. Pisang Epe is a banana which is pressed, grilled, and covered with palm sugar sauce and sometimes eaten with durian. Many street vendors sell Pisang Epe, especially around the area of Losari Beach. Pisang Ijo is a banana covered with green-colored flowers, coconut milk, and syrup. Pisang Ijo is sometimes served iced, and often eaten during Ramadan. See also List of twin towns and sister cities in Indonesia Sacred Heart Cathedral, Makassar References Further reading McKnight, C.C., Voyage to Marij. Macassan Trapangers in Northern Australia, Melbourne University Press, 1976. Reed, Anthony, 1999. Charting the Shape of Early Modern Southeast Asia. Chiang Mai, Silkworm Books. ISBN 9747551063. Reed, Anthony, 2000, Indonesian Divers in Australian Waters. The Great Circle, Vol. 20, No. 2-120-137. Turner, S. 2003, Indonesia's Small Entrepreneurs, Trading on the Margins. London, Routledgekurzen ISBN 0700715690 extension 288 pp. Hardback. Turner, S. 2007, Small-Scale Enterprise Livelihoods and Social Capital in Eastern Indonesia, Ethnic Embeddedness and Exclusion. Professional Geographer. 59 407-20. External links Makassar Travel Guide from Wikivoyage Indonesia Official Tourism Website Pinisi at Poegire Harbor, 2012. Photographs by Peter Loud.